congratulations on your win, uh, Buildings of Excellence Round 5. You go. Thank you so much. Uh, give us your, your name, give us the company, go for it. Sure, uh, so my name is Ed Ettinger. I'm the managing principal of Ettinger Engineering Associates. Uh, we're an MEP sustainability, civil low voltage fuel verification consultant right here in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. Um, and we love projects that kind of live at the interface between sustainability and other traditional design disciplines. Well, you guys do great work. Obviously, I know you quite well, so thank you so much for, for interviewing right now. Tell me more about the building itself. Absolutely, and it's always a pleasure to chat. Uh, 351 Powers is an amazing project. It's uh, 80 affordable housing units with supportive services below in the South Bronx in Mott Haven. I love this project because it kind of reminds me of like a perfect layer cake. Uh, we have a really wonderful consulting team. We have Stat Architecture, Lemley Wolf, uh, and other co-developers uh, that make a wonderful team. So the origin of the project really kind of starts in a neighborhood that needs affordable housing. And our team has kind of uh, really brought that into the design process itself. We have intergenerational design in mind. So the unit mix first starts with a lot of two beds and three beds to make way for that, first of all, in a neighborhood that needs it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've really tried to channel resiliency even in the architectural design from the beginning. Uh, every apartment has access to an outdoor terrace. We're passive house certifying. So the terraces are very intelligently designed to serve as uh, shades for the buildings in an optimal way. And not only that, the sliding doors that are accessed to the terrace are actually angled to also optimize solar incidence on the building as well. It's smart and also it's a great looking building and, and I feel like that helps with that design element is uh, both functional and looks good. Right, that's exactly the way I feel about the kind of the layer cake aspect of the building. Uh, so to push further, uh, the team has very readily embraced geothermal source heat pumps for both HVAC and domestic hot water systems. Uh, but it, with this kind of intergenerational uh, affordable housing model, our team feels that uh, cooling in a way should be a universal right. So we're gonna pay for both heating and cooling. Within the city of New York, I have to applaud HPD, uh, our local uh, regulatory agency that, su that supports and subsidizes affordable housing. They've created, I believe it might be first of a kind, a cooling utility allowance structure, whereby if the developer pays for cooling, they can actually charge more in the rent roll. So uh, this enables us to uh, completely optimize the design of the HVAC system. If you think about it, traditional packaged systems, PTACs, let's say PTHPs, are only so small. Three quarters of a ton can go in a room that may be a quarter or a third of a ton. Mm -hmm. If we do geothermal heat pumps for larger two, three bed apartments and we duck them, we can really bring down the oversizing kind of ratio of sorts. It's huge. And so that's something that we're also leveraging fully on the project. That's, a, that's really exciting. Um, so your uh, Building of Excellence Award winner, tell us what that means for the project. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, we've, uh, we've been fortunate enough to participate in this program uh, four rounds running, and we find they sort of... Congrats. By the way, just on that. No, thank you, you so, so, so much. We've been so fortunate to not only participate on the implementation side, that's the four, but we have another four or so in early design support space as well. We've really seen this as a warm hug from NYSERDA, really trying to support the industry financially on the early design support side mm -hmm. to help nudge developers that may be less initiated mm -hmm. towards decarbonization, resilient buildings. And then on the implementation side to really reward those that are willing to push. We have a battery system for argument's sake that will provide areas of refuge um, for front of house areas, you know, community areas uh, within the building. And so as, as our local fire department, you know, FDNY has been outwardly receptive to that, getting through that process has also been quite challenging. Yeah. So to have the support and the financial backing it really pushes the entire team in the right direction. I'm also excited about it because uh, similar to the other projects that where you've won this project, you're gonna be able to share it even more broadly. And so everything you're learning here, other people will learn and then that snowball of positive effects that happens over and over and over again. Absolutely, uh, here we're doing 
uh, specifically picked lead enhanced commissioning protocols mm -hmm. so that we can actually drive the rubber to meet the road on the operational side. And I was actually just in the, in the reception talking with some of the folks from NYSERDA on the operational side about how we're bringing that to bear on our other earlier round projects. It's absolutely amazing to have their support in that way also. Awesome.